Graham, a good 2-0 win over Maritimo today. Your thoughts on that 90 minutes? Um, absolutely delighted. Um, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's very, very hot. So um, we had that variable against us. Tactically, Maritimo were a real test, played different shapes even within the game. We knew that leading into it. Um, I was really play pleased with the players' understanding. And Maritimo finished seventh in the Portuguese top league last season. So individually they can hurt you, collectively they can hurt you. Uh, what I loved about our performance was the, um, the tactical ability to carry out our plan, deal with their plan, but also Maritimo tried to mix it at times and these boys were up for it, no problem. Um, today was really satisfying because you start earning trust, you start knowing, knowing the players that you can trust, who can do the job with resilience for 90 minutes, so overall really, really happy. And obviously Maritimo sort of, um, are a different outfit to what we faced so far in pre-season and as you say really sort of gave us a different sort of test of what we've had so far. Yeah, but that's the measurement of the work. Uh, the pre-season, early pre-season games against non-league clubs as far to implement your, your technical and tactical plan. It's for the, the physical content, make sure that uh, physically we're up to the level. And then ultimately when you play against a team like Maritimo and then you play against Norwich, you know where you are. Today I was incredibly satisfied with what I saw and I feel like all the, the work of the last four weeks went into that one performance. So because Maritimo are sort of higher up the echelons of football, they will allow you that little bit more space on the ball and you could see today um, your sort of style of play. Yeah, I, d I didn't think they allowed us more time on the ball. I thought their press was excellent. We had a really earned possession today, which you want that challenge. That's why we picked Maritimo. That's why the games have gone up. Um, and obviously on Saturday, it's, today's great preparation for Saturday, but we need to recover, we need to look after ourselves. We're playing in, I don't know what it is, 60 hours, maybe, maybe a bit longer. So um, the exercise I was delighted with, but you know, that said to the players, the most important thing is we need to win, and that's what we did. And we couldn't find the breakthrough in the first half, but you brought Harry Cornick on and almost instantly added a different edge and got the breakthrough for us. Yeah, but James Collins and Callum McManaman get us to that point in the game. Maybe Maritime aren't as fresh. You use Harry's pace. But tactically, Harry was ready today. That was the most important thing to me. He understood the rule. He w I asked them to work hard on stopping the internal pass. And he was perfect in that area. I know what Harry Cornick's got pace-wise. If we're playing against a lower block, it's going to be difficult for Harry Cornick to use his pace. So you have to select players according to their style wisely. And uh, the game, the game busted open at 60 minutes, and Harry was the reason for that. And then another one of your substitutes, Brendan Galloway, comes on, good run into the box, and is brought down. And James Collins gives us the second. Goal. Brendan's got that pace. Sort of had cut training back a little bit. He's always suffered with uh, patella tendonitis during pre-season, even as a young man. Since 2013, 14, he struggled with it. So it was nice to see him. It was the freest I've seen him today. We just cut his load back, and I think it showed in his performance. He came on, and he was somebody else who affected the game. And finally, obviously, out here for our second trip of um, pre season. You pleased with how it's gone so far, not just pre season, but out here specifically? Uh, really satisfied, yeah. I think it's a big word contribution. And if you think about Harry Cornett might take the plaudits, Brendan might take the plaudits, but the work before that, the contribution from the players who started the game, the contribution from players who came on, who knew their role, that's a satisfying thing. You get contribution even for three or four minutes in a game, it can help you over the line. So generally, I wouldn't have changed anything that's happened and really satisfied at this point. Thanks, Graham. Thank you.